Strap on your bike helmets. We're going to show you how to enjoy Sanibel Island by bike. Sanibel is a great place for cycling. But there are some things you need to know to stay safe as you bike. So stick with us and we'll show you how it's done. We think you'll rather enjoy it. And thanks for taking the time to allow us to demonstrate how you and your family can have a safe and wonderful time biking here on our island. People are drawn to Sanibel Island for many reasons. Some come for the beautiful beaches, the shelling, or the plants and animals that abound here. Some come for the fishing, the boating, the island history, or the quiet tropical setting. Sanibel's flat terrain makes pedaling a bike so easy. No hills to climb, which makes it easy to get to any place you need to go by bike, to shop, hit the gym, visit friends, or go to the library. During Sanibel's busy season, choosing a bike is a more convenient way to get around town and avoid traffic congestion. Whatever your reason for coming, experiencing Sanibel on a bike can be one of the best ways to enjoy what the island has to offer. Sanibel has over 25 miles of safe, off-street shared use path for cyclists and pedestrians. Some parts of the path are straight, but some can get very windy and curvy, so be sure you're always paying attention to where the path is headed. The path network covers Sanibel from end to end, letting you use a bike to get almost anywhere you might want to go. It's a shared use path, meaning the path is not only used by bikes. Bicycles share the path with pedestrians, rollerbladers, parents with strollers, people walking for exercise, and pets on leashes. The path is used by all different types of bikers with all different skill levels, from beginner to experienced, old to young, and families with small children. On the shared use path, cyclists must yield to pedestrians and all other types of path users. It also means being patient and courteous to others. Biker behind you! Oh, gotta go! It's time to get ready for your bike ride. Here's what you need to know. Wear a helmet. If you're 15 years old and younger, it's the law. But even if you're older than 15, it's a great idea to protect you and avoid head injury. Even from falling coconuts. When passing, the law requires you to give an audible warning with a horn, or a bell, or a verbal alert. Bike behind you. Thank you. On the path, you should ride on the right and pass on your left. And when necessary, get in single file and leave plenty of room for traffic coming in the opposite direction. Also, keep a safe distance between you and the bike in front of you, just in case they stop suddenly. Signal your stops and turns with hand signals to alert those around you. If you have to stop, just pull to the side and let others get by. Obey all stop signs and traffic markings. And if you come to an intersection with a traffic control officer, just wait till the officer waves you through. When using a crosswalk, cyclists should position themselves to let motorists know they intend to cross. State law requires vehicles to stop for bicycles or pedestrians using a marked crosswalk. However, it's still important for cyclists to be alert. Look both ways and make sure the intersection is clear before proceeding. Staying safe on the Sanibel bike paths is simple. Be polite and always pay attention. You'll have a great time. Hiking on Sanibel can present some unique conditions, and we want you to be prepared. Where else would you have to stop your bike? To avoid a gopher tortoise. Also here on Sanibel, Florida state law prohibits the use of any kind of listening device other than a hearing aid. And if you're on a bike, making cell phone calls or texting are really bad ideas. At intersections, pay close attention to motor vehicles. Make sure that drivers can see you before you proceed. And if you have any doubts, stop until you're sure it's safe. There are no street lights, so it's very dark here at night. 
So if you need to ride at night, make sure your bike is equipped with proper lights. State law requires a white headlight, a red tail light, and a rear reflector for bikes riding at night. Also, wearing bright colored clothing can make you a lot more visible to motorists and other path users. Sanibel has many driveways crossing the path, and here you need to stay especially alert for vehicles coming in or out, as drivers may not see you. Sanibel roads are very busy with lots of traffic, and that can present unique circumstances for cyclists. Our small town roads are narrow, and we don't have dedicated breakdown lanes or bike lanes. Florida state law does permit bikes to use the road. However, unless you're an experienced cyclist, we suggest you stay on the shared use path. In the event that you do choose to ride on the road, be aware that bikes must follow the same rules, signs, and signals that control motor vehicles. Like many states, Florida has a three-foot law that requires motorists to give three feet of clearance when passing a cyclist. Bikes should stay to the right in the traffic lane to let vehicles pass, and motorists may cross the yellow median line to comply with the three-foot law. Being on Sanibel can create a laid-back feeling. It's one of the reasons people like this place. But when you're traveling around the island on your bike, we want you to stay alert and be safe. From all of us here on Sanibel, thanks for watching. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And enjoy the ride.